welcome to another video. So today's video is actually going to be a day in the life of an unemployed performer. So that's me. Obviously when I say unemployed, I mean unemployed as a performer. I do work a normal job. I work that four days a week, but today is one of my days off from that job. So today's one of the days that I spend as a performer, doing classes, practicing for auditions, all that sort of thing. So I thought I'd bring you along on a typical day in my life, not at a normal job. So it's half eight, I'm about to go and take my little doggo for a walk. When I'm off I like to take him in the morning just because it gets me up and out the house. Excuse the face with no makeup on, I'm actually getting my eyebrows done at 11. So there's no point putting makeup on until my eyebrows are done. So I'll wait until after my appointment to put my makeup on. But yeah, this is just going to be a typical day in my life as a performer. So let's get into it. Miko, do you want to go for walkies? Do you want to go walkies? Come on, should we go walkies? He doesn't believe me. Come on then, let's go walkies. Coming in. Right, I've just got home from my walk. I was out for about 40 minutes, but it's like the perfect day for a walk. Like blue skies, a little bit of crisp, fresh breeze. It was really nice. It was nice to get out first thing in the morning, woke me up a bit. So now I'm going to have some breakfast and a cup of tea. I can't bother to cook too much, so I think I'm literally just going to have a bowl of Cocoa Pops or something like that with a cup of tea, sit and chill for 20 minutes, and then on to the next thing. What's the time now? So it's quarter past nine. So I don't have to leave here till probably quarter to 11 because the um, salon's only up the road where I'm getting my eyebrows done. So yeah, I'm going to have breakfast now, and then I'll probably do like a vocal warm up and run through some songs for my audition next week. I'm now going to quickly jump in the shower and just get dressed and ready for my appointment so that I'm ready. And then, yeah, I might do a quick vocal warm up before my appointment so that when I come back, I can run through some songs and do some singing bits before I have to head into London because I am doing a singing course. Um, it's like a harmony technique kind of singing course. It's at the Phoenix Arts Club. The first one was last week and yeah I'm going back there today and I'm very excited for that so I've got to leave for that at about half past one because it starts at half three and then so by the time I get into London and that get on the train. So yeah I'm gonna jump in the shower quick, get dressed before I need to head to my eyebrow appointment. Okay so I just spent way too long in the shower and sort myself out so it's actually now time to leave. It's 20 to 11 so I need to head out to my eyebrow appointment and then I'll have to do all my singing stuff when I get back and hopefully I'll have time before my train into London. Yeah, time just flew by. I really don't know what happened. Like, to be fair, it took me a while to find an outfit. I feel like I've got no clothes at the moment for this like transitional period. I have either like knitted woolly jumpers or shorts and t-shirt and it's too warm for thick woolly jumpers and it's too cold for shorts and t-shirts so I kind of need some like more transitional pieces but today I do have some time after my singing course before I meet Steve later because he's doing a gig in London and he's driving up there so I'm just going to jump in with him home um so I do have a couple of hours between my singing course finishing and meeting him so I might go and have a little look around the shops as you know the shops stay open late in London so I might have a look for some more like autumn me transitional pieces because I literally feel like I have nothing to wear. But anyway, I need to stop chatting because I need to get going to my eyebrow appointment. I'm on my way, driving at 90 down those. I mean, I'm not driving at 90, obviously. Um, but I am on my way to my eyebrow appointment. I'm so excited to get my eyebrows done. I feel like, I mean, I had them done last month, but I feel like they've lightened up so quick this time. I'm gonna try and get them like, super dark because I have a hair appointment next Saturday where I'm going a lot darker. It's a bit annoying actually because I've got an audition next week um, on the Wednesday and then my hair's not till the Saturday which is really annoying because I like to have fresh air for 
auditions. I also have a nail appointment on the day of my audition. Now the nail appointment's at 9.30, my audition's at 2. So technically I would have enough time to do both, like to get my nails done and then go to the audition. I just don't know whether I want to um, stress myself out. Like, like usually I like getting up in the morning, getting ready, um, practicing my songs a few times before I leave and it would have been like a really nice chilled morning but I feel like if I go get my nails done am I going to be stressing because I won't get back home till about 11 and then I'll need to leave at about half 12 to get the train so it only gives me about an hour and a half when I get back which I just don't know if, whether it's long enough it's really awkward because now I've stopped at traffic lights and there's someone like right next to me I don't want to look because they're going to see the camera on my dashboard and it's a bit embarrassing so I'm just going to look the other way I'm not looking out the side so awkward oh my god we're free we're free he's gone he has gone yeah i'm super excited for my audition next week because i actually haven't been to an in-person audition for a little while i think actually my last one was august and we're now well next week it'll be october so i've got a whole month without an in-person audition i've had like a few self tapes and things um sent off but i much prefer an in-person audition because you know that you've been seen and you can like you kind of get a vibe as to whether you are going to get a call back or or whatever but I have auditioned with this company before and the last time went horrendously wrong but my audition was at 9am and I did warm up before I went but it just yeah you know them auditions that just go wrong like I literally walked out and I was like I'm not surprised I didn't get a call back because that was horrendous and luckily that's the only audition I've ever walked out of and gone yeah that wasn't great all my others like even if I haven't got callbacks I've always thought they went okay and yeah, the reason I didn't get a call back wasn't because I didn't think I did very well, which is always a nice feeling to have. Um, but yeah, that one I was like, absolutely no, that one was horrendously horrible. So hopefully this one will go better. I've booked a later slot, so hopefully my voice will be a bit more warmed up. I have picked two songs that I love and I feel really confident with, whereas before there was like one of the songs I felt confident with and then the other song I wasn't that confident with because I decided to do a new song I'd only just learned, which is always a bad idea, don't do that. Um, and then when I got there at the last minute, we, I'd taken 32 bar cuts of the songs and they at the last minute they asked us to just do 16 bars and the two songs that i'd taken the cuts just um because they was quite i cut them quite a lot and so it wasn't like an easy cut to a 16 bar so i had to try and really change it and then i got in there and obviously i'd practiced the 32 bar cut so much that i just went into autopilot because obviously you're nervous you're trying to like act it as well and i sung the wrong part and it just really didn't go with the music that the pianist was playing and it was all just really really horrendous and that was the first song so then obviously by that time the second song I was just freaked out and it all yeah it all went wrong so hopefully it'll go better this time I'm taking 32 bar and 16 bar cuts of the song so I'm prepared if they ask again for us to change it to a 16 bar so as long as this part goes well then at least that's a step up from last time even if I don't get a call back again but hopefully I do I really want to I'm like so desperate to get a cruise now I keep seeing like loads of people I know are on cruises and I've just got cruises and are off out traveling and singing and dancing and I really really want to get it and I think it will happen for me I don't I don't think it's one of those things that won't happen I think I just need to keep going and eventually I will um yeah eventually I'll get one fingers crossed right so I'm just pulling up to uh just getting towards pinkies now which is the salon that I'm getting my eyebrows done so I will speak to you after this is pinkies here this got here just waiting I think I've got a couple minutes until my appointment so I'll go in in a sec yeah it's probably cute here you see the flowers um it's all pink inside and obviously the name pinkies but I love it I get literally everything done here eyebrows eyelashes um hair nails facials massages they do the lot and it's great and i love it um but yeah i'll see you after hopefully with some nice dark brows i'm out and on my way home i've got my eyebrows done i don't think you can really see in this light because the light's a bit shocking because i'm driving but they are nice and dark i'll show you more when i get in and then i also got a oh that was a bump and i didn't see that um i also got a candy floss cuticle oil 
because I actually pay to be a VIP at this place. So I pay, I think, £55 a month and then you get a free treatment, so uh, worth £35 I think it is. So I use my free treatment to get my nails done every month. Then you get, no, that's not a, that sounds really stupid, a free treatment is 35 No, you pay £55, you get a £35 treatment included with that. Um, so that's my nails, so then they're basically paid for every month. And then you get a free half an hour treatment. So I would usually get my eyebrows with the free half an hour treatment. Um, and then I just pay like a top up to get henna brows because henna brows are more expensive than like a tin and wax. So I think it's like an extra tenner. So I pay £10 for henna brows. And then you also get either a free blow dry each month or a £10 a product worth £10. So, yeah, I picked the Candy Floss Cuticle Oil um, as that's a £9 product, so I got that today. I do really want to get a blow dry, but tomorrow is the 30th of September and it's um, September... Um, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on driving. Tomorrow is the 30th of September, so I only have today and tomorrow to use that free £10 product or free um, blow dry. So, obviously, today... I need to get home and get ready because I need to get to London for half past three and tomorrow I'm working and then my friends are coming over so it seems a bit pointless getting a blow dry when I'm just sitting at home so I got the free product this time and then I will potentially book a blow dry for next month and try and coincide it with a day out or something just so because I love having my hair done for me because I'm not great at hair makeup I like doing my own makeup hair I'm not too great at unless it's using the Dyson Airwrap. But yeah, it's great. Uh, I feel good. My eyebrows are done. She did nearly persuade me to have a facial because she had some time after and she was like if there's anything you want, a facial, anything like that and I love a facial however I don't have that much time. I need to do some singing stuff and I am going to be going home to put on a full face of makeup because I'm heading into London and there is no way you're going to catch me wandering around London with no makeup on. So it just seems a bit pointless to have a facial when I'm going to be putting a full face of makeup on. I'm just going to head home and do my makeup and get ready for the afternoon and hopefully have time to do some singing practice as well. I am home, the eyebrows are done, how much better do they look? So now I have an hour and a half well, just over an hour and a half before I need to leave to get the train. So, in this next hour and a half, the plan is to have some lunch, to do a vocal warm-up and maybe a vocal workout as well, run through my audition songs for next week and basically just do a bit of singing because I like to sing for at least like half hour to an hour each day if possible. Not always possible, but that is the aim to try and do. Also, do have singing this afternoon as well. I need to do my makeup ready for London and get my bag ready, make sure I have all my music and things like that, ready to leave. Yeah, let's get going. Mm -hmm. done um it is now 25 past 12 so that's about a 20 minute warm-up um so i'm gonna quickly sing through a couple of songs i'm gonna i've got um the piano recordings that my vocal coach did for me when i had my singing lesson tuesday she did the piano recording so i'm gonna quickly run through suddenly
why I'm so like this, I don't know. I have officially, um, well, I've got 14 minutes, so it's 10 to 1. I need to leave here by probably the latest 22. 20 to 2. I think because I think my train's at 54 and I like to get there like a little bit early just in case just in case it's a bit of a queue for the tickets so I've got literally 50 minutes and I need to eat and do my makeup so I'm going to quickly make a toasty just a cheese choose just a cheese toasty really quick make that chuck some makeup on and um yeah get going because ugh, time's just flown again like how the hell is it 10 to 1? How is it 10 to 1? But yeah, I'm going to quickly get a toasty made and eat that and chuck some makeup on. And hopefully I can be ready in time. Shouldn't take me too long to do makeup because it's not like I'm going out. I just need to do like normal everyday makeup, which is what, like 15, 20 minutes. So let's get this toasty made. The sandwich is on. Now just to toast that nicely. About five minutes and hopefully that'll be ready to eat. Lunch is made, so I'm going to try and quickly eat this without getting anything down me because I don't want to have to change before I go out. Quickly eat this, and then I'll come back to you when I'm about to put my makeup on. I think we should be fine to get the 154 train. Hopefully. Okay, I am on Operation Fast Forward because it is now quarter past one. I ate that toasty so quick. Um, but yeah, it's now quarter past one, so I literally need to do this makeup in the next 15 minutes. Oh, and I've run out of primer. Brilliant. It's always the way. Here's what I found. Oh, why are you talking to me? Who's talking to me? Where'd they even come from? Oh, my watch. No. I was thinking my phone's there and it came from... Yeah, that was my watch. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm literally on Operation fast forward as fast as possible because i don't want to have to run up the road and be sweaty like the station is literally like a five minute walk obviously i need to get my ticket when i get there um and i definitely don't want to be sweaty but i'm really i'm just gonna wear this like jumper and leggings because obviously it's quite a casual thing anyway and i'm gonna be wandering around london after but i oh, i really don't want to get no don't say it's funny it's fine, no one's gonna notice that. Um, I really don't know if to take a jacket or a coat. Like I've got like a leather look um, Zara gilet type thing. I don't know if to take that, but then I don't know if it's gonna be too warm, like for now, because it's actually not that cold today, surprisingly. And it usually is a few degrees warmer in London than it is here. So yeah, I don't know. I can't decide where to take it. Am I going to be cold when the sun goes in? Because see, oh, got the hair stopped me. I'm not going to come out of the singing thing until probably like seven-ish. Because the actual, like the, <coughs> oh, my throat went flying. Then. The actual class is three thirty until five. Um, but then we get to keep the space until seven so that we can like uh, network and get to know everyone that's on the class as well. Um, so last week we literally stayed in there until seven until they said you need to leave because the next um obviously it's the phoenix arts club so i think on a thursday now they have like a drag race screening and then they do like a quiz and have hosts and stuff like that so they start that at the doors for that open at seven so unless we're staying for that and paying to stay we need to leave by seven so last week we did stay there until seven i'm thinking it'll probably be the same thing this time so i won't get out until seven and as you know, by seven, it's starting to get dark, very almost dark. So I'm thinking, I thought there was a spot then, it's a bit of fluff. Oh, it keeps coming back. So I'm thinking I might need a jacket for then. Basically, the moral of that story is jabbering on for forever, is do I take my jacket or do I not? I am taking a rucksack, but it's quite like a, it's like a puffer leather gilet, so I, don't think it's going to fit in my rucksack. The only reason I'm taking a rucksack is because I have to take all my music and folders so it's easier to put it all in there so it doesn't get like screwed up and ruined. It's like the rucksack I've got is kind of like my audition bag because it's a nice size. It does, it's not too big but it fits everything in there that you would need for your audition. Right anyway so that I am not jabbering on to you guys forever more and I actually concentrate on getting this done I will fast forward doing my makeup and let's hope that I am done in the next 10 minutes. I should be, I should be, but let's see. Here we go.
here i've done a full face of makeup and it is only 126 that i think must be the fastest i've ever done a full face of makeup but yeah i mean it's not perfect but it will do for today we're only literally going into london for this class and then to go shopping so it's not the end of the world so now i'm going to quickly go grab all my stuff together chuck it in my bag i need to get my ipad because i like to read my book on the train I need to fill up my water bottle grab a little snack for the train as well maybe just in case i get peckish and yeah then head to the train station so i will quickly grab my stuff together we absolutely made it it is exactly 140 and i'm on my way to the train station i did put my gilet on but I think I might regret that decision, although I think I'll be able to fit it into my rucksack. So I'm going to wait until I get on the train and then I'm going to see if I can fit it in there because I think I'm going to be too hot, especially on the tube and that. But yeah, just walking up to the train station now. We're going to make the train, which is great. three now that means i have 15 minutes literally five minutes i'm ready so probably gonna be like 10 minutes early but it works out quite good timing and hopefully the girls that met last week will be there this week as well because they were lovely but yeah excited for another week at the singing thing i don't think i'll be able to film much in there because i'm not really too sure what you're allowed to film what you're not allowed to film but i will see if i can film anything if not i will definitely vlog after so i can let you know how it goes and then what I'm up to after. So we're going to head to the shops. I might try and find Harrods because Steve's in Knightsbridge. Not Steve's in Knightsbridge. I can go around there and have a little look because I love Harrods. But it's literally here on the end, so I'm going to go in there and I'll try and vlog some. If not, I shall speak to you after. I'm in Hyde Park. Um, I got myself a Ben's cookie because you can't come to London and not get a Ben's cookie. The class is really, really good. We're doing a Lamey's medley at the moment. So it's just like learning the harmonies for that. They go quite fast because they want it to sort of be like in a professional capacity. So you pick up like learning how to do harmonies and that really quick. It was really fun. Met some more really nice girls and guys there today. I'm just having a wander through Hyde Park towards Knightsbridge, which is where Steve's at, which is where I'm meeting him from work. Gonna have a little wander around Harrods, see what's around there, kill some time and see when he's ready. The time now is quarter to seven and he'll be done about half eight. So by the time we get to Harrods, it's gonna be like seven, quarter past seven. Have a little wander around there. I really wanna look in the food court and get something to eat. Cause I haven't had dinner yet, but I'm gonna wait for Steve to have dinner, but I might get a little snack from Harrods food court cause they do the best food. But yeah, nice little walk through Hyde Park towards Knightsbridge. Maybe a slight change of plan. One of these other jobs in London has basically he's got to run to this other job in London now. They didn't need him and now they do need him. And just so happens it's the complete opposite side of London. So I've just walked all the way here, like a 45 minute walk, and is literally the complete opposite way, which is just grand. 
So I can't decide, I mean he doesn't know how long he's going to be so I might still pop into Harris anyway even though it's the opposite direction and then jump on a tube depending on how long it's going to be I'll just get a tube there then which wouldn't take shouldn't take too long so I might actually just quickly pop into Harrods anyway because I haven't been for a while and I really want to look through that food hall so yeah that's the plan I'm going to head to Harrods anyway have a little look around and then I've got to figure out where Steve is and go and find him because he's got the car so it makes more sense for me to come to him I think we take a major skip through London Harrods is still a go but then I've got to carry on elsewhere so I am now in Steve's car. I didn't go Harrods because as I was walking towards Harrods, Steve called and said he was literally parked outside and he wanted me to get in the car so that I could drive with him to near, basically it's near Trafalgar Square so that, I think I'm just about to get taken out by a bus. Oh, no, he made it. Yeah, he wanted me to basically take the car and park it whilst he ran into the other job I don't know how long he's gonna be he could be 10 minutes he could be an hour I don't know so I am sat in the car in one of the side streets of London basically just waiting for him now so I've just parked the car so the night didn't quite end how I thought it was going to I didn't get to go Harrods but there's always next week yeah, obviously I'm up at this singing thing every Thursday, so there's plenty of time to get to Harrods. I'm starving though, I don't know what we're going to get. I'm assuming we're just going to grab something on the way home because it's just a bit awkward to park, especially when you get into central London. Although actually quite a lot of the side roads are free after 6.30, I think. A lot of the little roads around central. Yeah, so I mean, this is basically my life. Like it changes, like my life is, I feel like my life is just 100 miles per hour all the time. I feel like it's like, I don't know how much time to just chill, you know? To be fair, I've got like an hour's worth of chill time. Potentially an hour's worth of chill time now, if he takes that long. But yeah, I feel like my life is super busy. But then that is the life of a performer, I guess. Just gonna sit and scroll on my phone for a bit, catch up on some social media, and see how long it takes to come out. Just editing this video back and I realised I didn't end the vlog. So I waited for Steve for about 45 minutes to an hour, then we literally just drove home, grabbed a pizza on the way home. So as you can see, a very nutritious day of food for me. It was a bit of an erratic vlog, but that's generally my life when I'm not doing my nine to five. I actually do enjoy the like spontaneity and craziness of my life when it's like that. Obviously some days it is a bit too crazy but in general I really enjoy it and I'm so grateful that I get to spend days doing all this performing stuff and also working because there's I know a lot of performers struggle with that kind of thing like trying to work a full-time job so they have the money to live and trying to do all of like their training and the performance stuff that they want to be doing so I'm very lucky that I kind of do have a chance to do a bit of that as well but I hope you enjoyed the little insight into a random day of mine there are many more of these style vlog videos coming out so if you did enjoy it then please do subscribe it would mean so much to me and don't forget to like the video as well so that I know that you enjoyed it but thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye!